Welcome to our Bible study entitled Discipleship. Today we want to look at Luke chapter number 9, verses 57 and 58, which read, And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have their nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. Our discussion on discipleship covers uh, our responsibility and accountability unto God. A disciple is a student, one who learns from the teacher. Uh, it requires discipline. Discipleship requires discipline. Discipline is to be sound in mind, sober in thought. The student must be teachable, and the student must have the capacity to hear, to understand, and then ob obey or apply that which has been taught. Uh, we have uh, covered the importance of hearing, uh, the importance of not being distracted when uh, studying the Word of God or when receiving the lesson that is taught uh, by the Lord. Uh, we must uh, seek to be ready to receive that instruction uh, whenever and wherever it shall occur. Uh, there are systematic ways of study, such as our regular Bible study, regular worship attendance, our own meditation and prayer time. But the Lord also teaches us lessons in the everydayness of life, as he did with the disciples in the scripture. He taught in the synagogue. He taught in the temple. He taught on the mountainside. He taught on the way as they traveled. He taught in houses of friends and houses of Pharisees. He taught on a boat. Uh, Jesus did not limit himself to a particular location of teaching and instructing. And so we as disciples must always be ready and prepared to receive the instruction uh, of the Lord. Uh, it is important that uh, we study and meditate on the scripture on a regular basis. Uh, today, uh, we uh, want to look at Luke chapter number nine, just the two verses, which are very important verses, uh, 57 and 58. Uh, and the lesson is very brief today, but very important. It is important that we recognize that discipleship is a commitment, and we will uh, cover uh, that more as we continue on in our study. But today, as an introduction, uh, discipleship is a commitment. There is no such thing as a would-be disciple. Either you are or you are not. If you are, then it requires commitment to, as we have already discussed, uh, the discipline of studying and to understand and then to apply that which is, has been taught unto us. Well, the text that we have today in Luke chapter number nine, it is very clear. Uh, there's a person, a man, uh, a certain man, we don't know the name of the man, but the certain man says unto the Lord, Lord, I will follow thee wheresoever thou goest. Or in other words, I will be your disciple. It doesn't matter to me, Lord, uh, where you go. Uh, whatever the circumstances are, I will be your disciple. But notice the answer that Jesus gives. Jesus says to the man that uh, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. 
interesting re reaction and response by Jesus to this uh, seemingly great offer uh, by this man to follow Jesus. But Jesus warns him that following Jesus is not a thing of convenience. Jesus says foxes have holes or foxes have a place that they uh, prepare that uh, when it's time for them to rest, they, they go to that place. And then the birds of the air have their nests. Once again, uh, the uh, place uh, for their uh, rest after they have done their daily tasks. But he says this, but the son of man have not where to lay his head. That's the interesting part because we know that wherever Jesus went, he was accommodated. Whenever he was in Bethany, for example, he stayed with uh, his friends, uh, Mary and Martha and Lazarus. And when he was up in Galilee, he was uh, in the home of uh, Peter or uh, he had places to rest but they were not places in the sense of Jesus being preoccupied by having a five-star place, if you will, to uh, rest and uh, refresh himself. Yes, he is the owner of all things. He is the owner of the earth. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. And yet he gives this response to this man who is a would-be disciple. And I believe that the Lord, one of the reasons that the Lord responds as he does is to sift or weed out uh, those who may be wanting to follow him because of what they perceive to be the benefits, the material benefits of following the Lord. And so he responds that uh, the foxes have holes, the birds have nests, but the Son of Man does not have anywhere to lay his head. Well, uh, this is a critical point for one who is going to be a disciple? Are you going to be willing to follow Jesus when it is not convenient, when it is not the uh, five-star uh, residence uh, that he will be uh, uh, resting in that particular journey? Yes, there are some who would want to follow Jesus as a disciple and yet not be willing to undertake the sacrifices that are necessary to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll get into the uh, spiritual uh, sacrifices as we continue on in our study of sacrifices of the disciple. But here, it's just the material sacrifice. There are some people that convenience is important to them. And so Jesus, I do believe, shows us that we must be committed to him. And wherever it is that he is, then we should be satisfied that he is with us. Amen. Uh, God bless you and keep his our prayer. Thank you for joining us in our Bible study on discipleship. And we pray that we will continue again in our next study.